The spectacular beauty of the Western Ghats is not just limited to mountains and rivers. The forests here are the water towers of peninsular India. The summer temperatures soar over 40 degrees and trigger a change in the atmosphere. Huge clouds blow in from the Arabian Sea and condense over the Western Ghats. This is the start to one of India's most important seasonal events. The mighty monsoon. The vast amount of rain creates an intricate network of streams, rivers and waterfalls. The waterfalls are amongst India's most impressive natural wonders. As the rivers swell, the rainforest is transformed. In these magical forests, wildlife thrives. And here lives a species that is so common, yet is hardly known to most people. A species that has made this wet, damp forest its home. The Malabar Pit Viper. Malabar pit vipers are one of the most beautiful snakes, I, I would say, in, in, the, in the Western Ghats. In the heart of the rainforest of Agumbe, there's a man on a mission. Gauri Shankar, a wildlife biologist and an expert on king cobras, has his eyes set on a Malabar pit viper. Pit vipers are endemic to Western Ghats and they love good rainfall and really nice temperature and humidity which is important for them to breed. They are synonymous with the forests and plantations that cover the Ghats. They are also masters of camouflage. These arboreal reptiles are found on ground rocks, leaf litter and trees near streams. Vipers have sensory organs between their eyes and nostrils called pits that can detect infrared radiation up to a meter away. At night, the pit organs allow these snakes to see an image of their predator or prey, giving them a unique extra sense. Pit vipers are nocturnal and slow-moving snakes. The wet monsoon air seems to have triggered something in her. This adult female is on the hunt. She senses something lurking in the distance. She uses her thermal sensitive pits to seek out her prey. She also uses her tongue to pick up their scents. Her smooth scales coil around the branch, ready to strike. Pit vipers are ambush predators. They wait for their prey to come well within their reach. Only then can their strikes count. Oops, not this time. Maybe another time. The Kalinga Foundation based in Agumbe is a center meant for citizens to explore and understand the fragile ecosystem. They manage complex studies and the color variation in the Malabar pit viper has now become a focus. They come in different colors. I've seen at least four or five different morphs right here in Agumbe. The brown and the green morphs are very, very common. And we have this yellow morph we have orange morph and there is a combination between brown and uh, um, blue. This phenomenon is basically uh, called color polymorphism where color is like the different colors they come in and poly is multiple and morph means form. There can be several explanations for color variations. It can be just to attract mates. So one biological sex could have like different colors and the other sex could choose the most attractive mate based on that color. These reptiles are ectothermic animals, that is, they need to regulate their body temperature based uh, on the kind of habitat they live in. Having a darker body would help them absorb more radiation and retain heat 
more easily as compared to like a lighter body. We see multiple colors maybe because of camouflage. In a complex habitat where there are different colored backgrounds, the pit vipers are well hidden, barely seen by predators or even humans. Coffee and tea plantation workers seem to be the ones most at risk. The Malabar pit viper has a bad reputation. These guys have less uh, patience towards people. It's a very quiet snake and well camouflaged. People do get bitten by Malabar pit viper. They are venomous, but it's not fatal. But that can put them off for two to three days. They are found everywhere and uh, more often they get bitten by Malabar pit viper than any other snakes here. For these daily wage workers, a bite from a Malabar pit viper can leave them indisposed for a few days and that can seriously affect their livelihoods. These are not considered as medically important snakes yet um, and of course the manufacturing companies do not manufacture anti-venom because there is no demand for it. The Malabar pit vipers are not taken in the same way, the way they consider the cobras and uh, king cobras. People do hate them a little bit, literally just because they're angry, because they got bitten and they killed the snake. People's attitude towards these snakes is crucial. Being one of the most misunderstood creatures in the animal kingdom, there are numerous misconceptions that have plagued their survival. Snakes are unanimously feared and frequently killed as a knee-jerk reaction. In a country of 300 different types of snakes, only the big four are responsible for 90% of snake bites across India. In monsoon, they are very, very common. But in summer and winter, we don't know where they go. They just disappear. We have no clue what they do. So these uh, snakes have just not gotten much attention because India has a lot of biodiversity but most of the focus is on like large charismatic species and mammals and birds. In the last six decades, the forest cover in the western Ghats has severely been fragmented due to human activities. Linear infrastructure projects are a massive hindrance for the survival of these snakes. Malabar pit viper road kills are high in number. Tarmac is quite warm, so they do come there to get some heat. So I've seen uh, Malabar pit viper just hanging around and they get killed. The elusive nature of snakes has deterred elaborate studies, especially of smaller forms living in dense tropical forests. These reptiles play an important role in the natural environment and food webs, as both predator and prey. Their venom is also used in life-saving drugs. Regardless of the increasing knowledge about the composition of snake venom and its mode of action, snake bite management remains a challenge in the region. Appropriate and timely use of anti-snake venom could reduce morbidity and mortality and also allow these snakes to live a long and fulfilling life.